All right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakodash, Shalom, Yom. With well, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. All right, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one world in these last days and who are the true leaders in the nation of Israel, whether you conceive it or not, who tell me it's 100% true. I want to give a strong shalom to all the Akim on the four corners of the earth, persons with truth and sincerity, making the call and an election sure, making the body of sacrifice. And I also want to give a humble citation to the elected nation of Israel, scattered through all the four corners of the earth, no matter what your outside appearance may be. All right, this is Brother Mashal. I'll come back at you with a quick uh, lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Mashai, representing the Cleveland branch of Great Millstone. I want to say the water Yahweh Bashi Mashai for giving me the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And, um,. Uh, the title of this lesson will be uh, Free at Last. All right. Now, we know this is, uh, you know, uh, so-called, uh, you know, Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, um, Martin Luther King, who, who uh, most Jake's reverence and got a picture of his face on the only walls at home and things like that, you know, had a speech saying free at last, free at last. But we're not actually free, man. OK, his, you know, Martin Luther King's vision actually uh or his his uh what he wanted to accomplish you know actually put us further in bondage okay because before all this uh segregation or desegregation right we had our own uh schools we had our own uh communities right we had our own restaurants our own uh hospitals all right but the the but being free is not being joined with the heathen man okay that's actually putting us and further bondage, all right? And now that it makes it easier for these nations to, uh, you know, to rule over us, okay? That was all an, an agenda by the elites, okay, to further subjugate the children of Israel, all right? So, you know, through these scriptures, we're made free, okay? You know how I said that? You know, let's get that real quick. Um, let's go to John 8. In verse 31, it said, Then the then, then say Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. All right, so we, we, we have to continue to be in Yahweh Shai's word, man. You know, constantly, faithfully, you know, without with without uh without wavering, like the scriptures say. All right. You don't want to we don't want to be tossed to and fro with, with uh every wind of doctrine. All right, so that in Ephesians the fourth chapter. So you go, so you, I mean, in, in two, you know, now you 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 got camps that, you know, uh, they take bits and pieces from each camp and and then combine it to make the to make one big doctrine, man. Okay, but what 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 is the Lord's elect going to do? They're going to continue in Yahweh Shai's words, man. Okay, the doctrine that that He sent and He appointed. All right, verse 32, it says, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. All right, so not being subjugated to these nations is going to make us free. Okay, this truth. All right, let's get this word truth real quick. In the Hebrew, it's Amas. It's like a, um, Strong's G225. Alethea. Alethea. All right. It says, um, what is true in any manner, manner under matter under consideration? All right. And what's under consideration? Okay. The, the, uh, the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. All right. Now, and, and what is true out of that? Okay. That's why the scripture says there's, there's no, there's no, um, you know, there, you can't you can't bring a, a you know a, a, a truth out of a lie. You can't make what's what uh, that which is broken straight or crooked straight. All right, let's see. Um, of a truth, in reality, in fact, certainly. Okay, these are facts that we're talking about, man. Okay, knowing the doctrine. Of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach is going to make you free from this world. 
you know, free from the from the belief systems of of uh, of Esau, Edom, and these other nations. And we trust we and we trust the facts, man, because the the Bible lines up directly with history. All right, we see the things coming. Okay, the prophecy is being fulfilled. Why? Because the scriptures are true. What is it saying? Uh, real quick, let's go to um. Uh. So that's 2nd Ezra 15. And verse 1, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, because uh, for they are faithful and true. Okay, so these words are faithful and true. The scriptures talk about that the, the uh that the Lord's words were purified seven times, and okay, in Psalms. You know, let's get that real quick. And I'm going to come right back to this. Uh, Psalms 12 and verse 6, it says, The words of the Lord are pure words. As silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times, meaning refined completely. Okay, there's no rough edges. There's no sharp points. Okay, this is straight doctrine, man. Okay, so this truth, the whole embodiment of the truth with it, which is Yahweh Shai, is going to make us free. All right, um, let's go back real quick. Let's go back real quick. All right, um, let's see. Uh, hmm. It says, what is uh, true in the things that appertaining to God and the duties of man, moral and religious truth. You see that that moral truth, man, be, that that moral that moral truth allows you to stand upright and, and be called out of the world. OK, yeah, how wish I said that. All right. Um, let's see. Uh. I believe it's John 17. Because how I say that it's chosen us out of the world, therefore the world hated you. All right, John... Yep, John 15, it says a little bit in John 17, but we're going to get to John 15. And verse uh, 18, it says, If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world will love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Okay, and how, how has the, how has I chosen you out of the world? By what? By giving you this truth. Okay, now we're 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 uh we're reigning in freedom uh through Yahweh Shai, man, not held by the bondage and the yoke of this world. All right, let's go to uh John seven. And verse thirty eight it says, He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of rivers of living water. All right. So you have to believe on this truth, man. OK, this is the only way. And it's only one truth. You have you got a lot of camps out here, but only one camp has the 100 percent truth. OK, and, and not afraid to speak on all things concerning the scriptures. All right. Not being emotional. Because when you're emotional, right, you, you're still you're still hell in the bondage of this world, man. You're still sipping on Esau's wine. All right, Esau wants us to be emotional. Esau wants men to be uh, 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 emasculated, man. All right. 
You know, the old saying goes, it's, it's too many chief and not, and not enough Indians, man. Okay, so this 100% doctrine, which is supposed to comfort us, all right, it's going to make us free. Free from this world. Okay, free from corruption. You know, spiritually, we're, we're, we're just like Enoch, how Enoch, Enoch was translated. Okay, so he wouldn't be corrupted from the, from, from the ways of the world. All right, and through Yahweh Bashim Yashah, we, we've been able to do that. Okay, now we're just waiting for, for it to, to physically manifest in, 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 in the form of that new covenant, in the form of salvation. All right, let's go to uh, Matthew uh, chapter 10 and verse 5. It says, These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and in, into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Yasharala. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, and this is what's happening right now, man. Okay, because why? Because the kingdom is going to make you free. But in order to do that, you have to you have to free yourself and liberate yourself from the mind, from from the uh, from the from the ways of bondage, man. All right, and the only way you're going to do that is 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 through escaping the ways of this world, man. Because the the Esau system is run and based off of of wickedness. Okay, and deception. All right, when you believe certain uh, these things, you're not free. You know, Jake thinks they they can they can walk around and go to go you know uh, you know go to the club and all that stuff that and that's freedom. It's not free, man. All right, when you, when you got to pay bills and and uh, you know buy buy your own water. You know, it's illegal to collect rainwater. All right, you got to go to get up and go to work, making pennies on the dollar. That's not freedom. Okay, but that's the illusion that Esau puts. Okay, but the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's real freedom. Okay, and Yahweh Shai said that the kingdom of heaven, heaven is within you. So through Yahweh Shai, we're free. All right, verse eight, it says, heal the sick, cleanse, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. You see, so since we're, you know, the, the, uh, the hopeful elect are free through Yahweh Shai, now we're, we're freely given that same message to others who will hear. Okay, we plant the seed. But it's up to the Lord to give the increase. And we do that freely, man. We do that willingly. So freely you have received, okay, because we didn't we didn't get this on our own. We got this truth through the through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. Alright, so since so, so since our Lord and Savior showed us how we should uh operate, showed us how we should give freely by what? By making our body limit sacrifice. Since we receive from Yahweh Shai freely, now what do we do? We give freely. Now we're free at last, man. All right, we're gonna. You know what? Let's get on. Um, we'll wrap it up with Proverbs twenty-three. Uh, Proverbs twenty-three and twenty-three. It says, "Buy the truth and sell it not." Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. All right, so we buy the truth and we sell it not, man. Okay, how how have we bought the truth? By what? Through Yahweh Shai's blood. Okay, but how do we buy it? Through our own uh, sacrifice, man. We didn't give out money and stuff like that. We bought it with with our sacrifice to live under the te the teachings of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and this is why we don't we do we don't sell it back. All right, we 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 give this thing freely. This is why you see, you see brothers on the on the on the uh, corners, man, uh, uh, in 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 in, ten to, in single digit weather. All right, constantly making videos. 
video of pistols. Okay, because we're giving this thing freely, man. Okay? Because we received this through the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. Uh, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash, Lawalam Yom, Lawalam Yom, Salakia. I want to give double honors to the apostles of a great millstone. I want to say, Kwame Sharala, Mawath, Lababal, Shalom.